where in the distance you hear a beautiful voice. It piques your curiosity. Save our progress. Okay. Siren. Island. place is beautiful. The singing is louder here. You find yourself very interested in seeking the source of that beautiful melody. Mmm, very evocative, very hypnotic. Oh, there she is. As you enter the clearing, you see the siren sitting on a rock. You find yourself entranced by the beauty of her voice. She's tired to the stoop. The siren beckons you toward her, and you excitedly comply. Uh oh. Uh oh. You've fallen for the oldest trick in the book. Now that you've gotten close enough, the siren reveals her true intentions. It would probably be a good idea to read up on the ancient Greek mythology before messing around with the siren. Oh my god. Restore. Siren Island. This time we know what to do. Get those, get that good dough pieces and put them in my ears. Good thinking. You stick the pieces of dough into the your ears, blocking out the siren song. Siren Island. All right. Here she is. As you enter the clearing, you see the siren sitting on a rock. Luckily, the dough in your ears prevents you from being drawn to your death by her song. The siren is an amazing creature. Her top half is clearly that of a human female, and although her face is covered by her hair, you like what you see. The bottom half, however, resembles a large snake. It's covered in shimmering green scales. Ah. Hmm. Anything close enough to touch the siren probably isn't a good idea. Great idea. Overcoming, overcome by lust, you decide to cop a feel of the sirens expressed assets. Uh oh. Oh no, you've fallen for the oldest trick in the book! Now that you've gotten close enough, the siren reveals her true intentions. Rah! It would probably be a good idea to not do that next time. Alright, this time we gotta f figure out what we can do. What are we gonna do with these siren here? To get to the clearing, you see the siren sitting on a rock. Luckily, the dough in your ears prevents you from being drawn to your death by her song. What can I do with this siren? What this horn? Uh, can we talk to her? Um, hello? The siren does not respond. Uh, hello? Siren does not respond. Hmm. Mesh? Hmm. Save progress. There's a stick. There is a stick lying in the grass here. It must have fallen off one of the trees. All right, that's gonna be that'll be helpful. You take the stick into your possession. All right, excellent. Now we know what to do. Listen, as you enter the clearing, you see the siren sitting on a rock. Luckily, the dough in your ears prevents you from being drawn to your death by her song. There is a small pond in the center of the clearing. At the bottom, you see several shimmers of green, which you realize are scales. The siren must shed her skin every so often, and the scales gather at the bottom of the pond. 
You reach into the pond, but the water is much deeper than it looks. You can't reach any of the scales. All right, then. Let's combine the stick with the mesh. You tie the mesh to the stick, making a crude but effective net. Excellent. You've constructed a makeshift net. Local butterflies had better watch out now. You probably stroke your homemade net. Something times you terrify yourself with your ingenuity. You, using your net, you manage to grab a scale from the bottom of the pond. Excellent. Save our progress. Siren Island. We've got our scales, folks. We've got our scale. It's a, it's a siren scale. It looks like it could just as easily come off a snake. Scale feels very delicate. Back, head back to the ship, the boat. You board the dinghy and head back to the boat. All right. Hey, Captain. What is it? I wanted to ask you a few quiet things. I'm listening. Chart a course. I think it's time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where do you want to go? Oracle Island. How about we check out the island with the oracle? Sure thing. All right, we got our scale. We got our two flowers. We are ready to give them to the oracle so we can make the underwater potion. Summon the oracle. You pour some of the fresh water onto the statue. Once again you have summoned me. Tell me what knowledge it is you would seek to gain. I have some questions for you, Oracle. Then ask them. That's all for now. May the fates guide you on your journey. Let's give her the ingredients. Asphodel, chrysanthemum. That's not the flower she asked about. Jeez. It's not the flowers that she needed. Okay. How about the scale? Here's a siren scale for that potion. Yes, thank you. You must be very brave to have acquired this. Well, I do what I can. Okay. What next? Chrysanthemum. It's a pretty yellow flower which you've identified as a chrysanthemum. It's a small white flower which you've identified as ashpadel. Where am I going to find a, a um, geez, iris flower? It's not the type of flower she asked for. Cave. Flowers. There's a small patch of white flowers growing on the base of the rocks. You've already had a pectone flora, you don't have time to pick more. Yeah. Where am I going to find these? Oh, an iris flower. Let's look for, look 
for an iris flower. Pink flower. Hey, Captain. What is it? I want to ask you a few things. I'm listening. Chart a course. This time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where do you want to go? Um, Island of the Minotaur. Let's go try that where the Minotaur is supposed to live. I'm glad I'm staying on the boat. Okay. Let's see if we can find a iris flower. Some deductive searching. Okay, bush. Small bush of flowers. You've already got one of the those flowers. Picking any more might compromise your manly image. All right. So it's not those flowers that I need. I got the yellow flowers already. What over here? There's nowhere else to go for flowers on this island. All right. Get on the dinghy. Hey, Captain. What is it? I want to ask you a few things. I'm listening. Chart a course. It's time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where do you want to go? Um, back to Siren Island, I guess. Can you take me to the island where you heard the siren song? You're a lot braver than you look. I just gotta tell you. We could find some flowers there. No, it's not here. Board the dinghy and head back to the boat. Hey, Captain. What is it? I want to ask you a few things. I'm listening. Chart a course. I think it's time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where do you want to go? Um, back. Where else can I go? Back to Egia Anna. Can we go back to Eggy Anna? I think I heard they feel get seasick. No problem, boss. I'll take you back. Okay, we are back. I'm going home. Alright. Let's go look for a uh, 